Okay, cheers, guys. Ah, uh, salut. Ah, bon santé. Just say that in French. Ah, bon santé. Viva SMTV. Viva SMTV. Viva Master. Viva Master. Yeah? Yes. I cannot make it quick enough. We have customer outside. <laughs> the way you eat, uh, we have to as a robot. <laughs> Master, you look so young and beautiful. Oh, thank you, thank you. Did she tell you to tell, tell me that? <laughs> oh, uh -huh. yeah. Did you ask him to tell me that I'm beautiful and young? <laughs> Very politically well trained. <laughs> his wife even said that uh, she was uh, dying for him because of his mouth, <laughs> because his tongue. You know, he know how to talk. Yeah. So did he um, pass on this uh, mantle of spiritual? Uh, <laughs> know how to use? <laughs> Do I look great, young yeah? Mike? You tell the truth. Five percent. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. When you love somebody, they are always beautiful. It's the problem. Yeah? But you really are awesome. <laughs> you see, they say that 90% of American men do really love his wife and respect her. And, and even if she grow older, it doesn't mean that she's less beautiful to him. Uh, if she grow older, it doesn't mean he, he, he feels that she's less beautiful. Because he loves her. America is big, no? Very lonely. You can grab a woman and hold on to her, no? <laughs> you know why I'm beautiful today and young? I iron the face, but I forgot to iron the face. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. So the contrast, you know? <laughs> Make the look, face look smooth and beautiful. Yeah, that's the thing. They say if you want to impress your boyfriend or something, first time or any time for a date, you always take an older girl with you. <laughs> older and ugly, yeah? The older the better, the more the uglier the better for you. So he can compare, you know, okay, after all she's better. <laughs> So I don't wear iron clothes on my face look, you know, look better than the clothes. See what I mean, yeah? See that, yeah? That's the trick. That was the style. The style. <laughs> yeah. Supermarket. Sure. Now here, this is a vegan shrimp. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Uh. Mikey. Thank you, Mister. Here, guys. You have to eat with the sauce. <laughs> Take the sauce back. <laughs> First, you dip it in the sauce and eat it, okay? Oh, what is that for? Also, for this? For this? Ah, okay. Good, thank you. It's very spicy, okay, guys? Ah! <laughs> I haven't ate it yet. <laughs> just scare you. <laughs> I just invite you symbolically, yeah? Okay? That's we have more people who work for SMTV before, no? For Supreme Master Television, not just you guys, huh? You guys are just sitting there and processing the, uh, the materials mostly, right? But I cannot invite the whole world here. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Whenever they eat or drink, you film them, okay? Just the way you did uh, to me. Uh, why share the joy? Why don't share the suffering? You know, about five minutes each. So they know how I suffer all these years. If you have a flashlight, even more delicious. Oh. If you don't know how I do it. <laughs> When they eat or drink or, or poke their nose or something, <laughs> yeah? Now scratch their head, then you do it. 
<laughs> it's fun. <laughs> now you don't dare to eat. You just sit there. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, when I sit on the chair in front of camera and like, I don't even dare to scratch my head when it's itchy. I just try to bear it and smile. <laughs> Especially when it's live, you know, terrible. Here is not too bad because you can like delete something you don't want, yeah. But when it's live, like we used to do, oh my God, yeah. Sometimes I have pain or itchy somewhere. I cannot even move because <laughs> the whole world is watching. Uncle Sam also is watching. <laughs> Because the cameraman there relentless, you know, they just sit there and hold it. <laughs> they don't care if you want to blow your nose or scratch your hair or <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> work is work, no? <laughs> yeah. You are not in the SMTV team. Today is only for SMTV. Yeah. Special. <laughs> Special suffering when you eating. <laughs> Now you take a break, and then there's some more food, and then the cameraman will be on you. <laughs> Make sure when they stick their tongue out or something, <laughs> to put the food inside, and the mouth is big, and the food go in, and the tongue stick out. Oh, that's a that's a good shot. Zoom in. Zoom. Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> Zoom maximum. <laughs> And if there's some salad on the teeth, you zoom on that too. <laughs> Now you see that you you feel sorry for your politician or not, huh? Leader, no? They always have to be on the camera, no? It's some sometimes it's live, you know, when when people protest or throw thing on your face, it's still on camera and the whole world watching. Mm. Terrible. So if you think being uh, being a leader or president or prime minister is fun, you rethink again, huh? <laughs> We wouldn't want to change for that, yeah. In some former life, I used to be king and queen and all that, yeah, and high officials. Ha! <laughs> I pick good time to be one. Now I don't want to be cameras everywhere, even in supermarket, yeah. And in those times, okay to be king and queen, whatever. Right now, I don't want to be, yeah, <laughs> because the camera all the time, yeah. <laughs> and you have to wave in certain way, you know. <laughs> and you know the the new pope in Vatican, and now he's in Brazil. I felt sorry for him. He never liked to be in 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 the limelight, you know. He was always a uh, humble, even though he's a cardinal, but he was humbly working for the poor, you know. And uh, he asked everybody, "Please don't vote for him." But that's what he got. <laughs> And I saw it on TV live when he first came out in the public, you know. It took a long time for him to come. I guess he was trying not to come out. And then when he came out, I saw him like he froze in front of everybody. The first moment, you know. And then I guess everybody was thinking whether he could even open his mouth to speak. He seemed to be so, so frozen, you know. He really didn't like public. I can see that. <laughs> And then suddenly he. He broke the silence. He said "Buona sera," so everybody clapped so hard. Yeah, he's <laughs> very nice voice he had. I I like him very much. Yeah, he's a nice nice person. Yeah, good pop. <laughs> yes. Now they're cleaning the Vatican of all kind of things. Monks are also humans, you know, make make mistake. Also outside people, you know, sometimes they push them into that kind of. Action and this action, even though they they don't want to, but sometimes it's I don't know, just difficult to decide what is right, what is wrong. When you're always in the public and working and all kind of so and so easy, you know, so easy, it's difficult to to decide, huh? Yeah, yeah. I feel sorry for any leaders.
Luckily, I'm not one. <laughs> so I can come here, sit and eat and poke the salad out of my teeth. <laughs> I don't see anybody eating. It doesn't matter, Lam Sun, really. It doesn't matter whether they open their mouth, put the food in or not. You know why? Because they saw the camera, they already know any time it can happen. So they're already very, very nervous. I just want you to have a taste of what it's like to be me. Every time, all the way, all the time, camera. In my bathroom, I have to close the window even in hot weather, even daytime, even in my own place, my own home, you know, not, not at the center even. I always have to close the bathroom door, the toilet window, everything, and turn on the light at noon. Because I'm scared anybody just pass by any time pretending not to understand or pretending that, uh, oh, they have something to do there. It happened before, all the time. So I always have to close the, the, win the window even when it's so hot and turn on the light inside even if it's daytime. Understand? So all the gate lock of that because I don't want people to run around to the backyard and look into my toilet, not because anything there to steal. The only thing valuable is me. <laughs> They're not after anything. They're just after me. Understand? Yeah, it's really like that. So give them some taste, plenty of it. <laughs> now every time we we look at you in the video camera, we will have a different impression. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have a different thinking, huh? You know. That's why sometimes I am away from some very high mountain somewhere. A remote area, there's no internet connection. And uh, on the phone, you have to walk down the mountain in order to call. So sometimes I have a conference with you without internet, without camera, anything. It seems like, uh, I told you it's a little bit, uh, I would say, no high tech where I live. Yeah. And you think I was sad? No, I was so happy. <laughs> Because I have good excuse not to show my nose to everybody. Understand? Or not to clean my salad in front of all the camera <laughs> from the teeth, not blow my nose. <laughs> yeah. The happiest time when I answer your questions is when I have no camera, no internet, nothing. Just a, just a stupid little phone. <laughs> It's just a very simple phone. I don't even have a cover because I lost it somewhere. <laughs> or maybe the dog ate it already. A very simple phone. This is all I have. Not even iPad, iPhone, I nothing. Only I. <laughs> I master. Don't eat too much. Come on, come in. Lady first. Come. There you are. There you are. And now the first come last. <laughs> Enjoy while while it's uh, still steaming hot. Some more coming. Don't worry, please. Eat slowly. <laughs> we don't have ambulance around here. Is it good? Mm, I like it. Yeah, pass on, pass on. Some more fried rice coming. Yeah, I love this fried rice. Kitchen, fried rice, very good. Pass, you take some more and then pass on. Take as much as you like and pass on. Actually, at home, I don't cook with this, no? Yeah. Broccoli or anything, you know, right? Yeah. yeah. Today, I am... Breaking my own precept. <laughs> but we thank the plants and are involved for this wonderful food. Yeah? Mm. Mm. Yum, yum. Mm. Pipe in hot. Come on, pipe in hot. There you are. Guys, girls. 
Ah, sorry, I'll just symbolic. You get more later, okay? Genovese, bastato. <laughs> Bonito. Thank you. you help yourself. This is mine, right? Oh, I normally don't eat beans at home. Okay. Exception. You know, we don't have beans at home, right? You know. You have to use. Oh, you don't have, huh? No, don't use this. You know, otherwise, it take too long. Together. Okay, let me show you. If you have a, a fault, it should be. Otherwise, it doesn't go in. It's full. Come on. Yeah. You see how much I get? <laughs> there you are. There, yeah, and go. Give them this uh, clean fork so that they can do it. You know how? No. <laughs> it's not my problem anymore because <laughs> you're far away. <laughs> wow, look at the, the animal, a giraffe. How they end down with such a long nose. <laughs> Must be very nosy indeed. <laughs> If I have that neck, huh? Then we don't have to have camera or high chair or nothing. <laughs> I just float on the on the crown, yeah, on top of the crown. Everybody will recognize immediately. Ah, here she comes, the long one. <laughs> long leaf. <laughs> then I can spot the Maya from a thousand miles away, huh? Oh, here comes the Hongchen one, the horn one. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Hey, it's a bong, huh? It's a bong, huh? Two more. You have to learn a couple of French words, man. Everybody's so quiet, busy eating. Camera is on, you know? I ask you if it's good. It's a bong? It's a way, it's a bong, madam. They're very polite. The French people. They also say, oui, monsieur, oui, madame. Huh? Just like in America, they say, yes, ma'am. Yeah? Yes, ma'am. What an asshole. <laughs> what an asshole to eat. <laughs> no, that's the French people. They don't, <laughs> they don't pronounce the H, you know? So some, somebody come to my hotel and say, oh! Is it an asshole to get into your hotel? <laughs> it's a ha hassle. <laughs> but they pronounce like asshole. It's an asshole. It's an asshole to get into your hotel, madam. <laughs> and when they tell you the truth, they show you the truth. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> hey, it's more fun the other day in our own home, huh? Dream that we would be able to eat at Love with you. Why not? <laughs> you don't have to dream, you just eat it. <laughs> but now it feels different eating when it's being filmed. <laughs> yeah. If you have not been in the King and Go and make a fool of yourself, then now you know what it is. But in the King and Go, you all made up, nobody recognizes you. Yeah. <laughs> Show your real face, man. <laughs> it's like reality show, eh? <laughs> wow, a lot of food. Uh, you guys still can eat or not? If not, we'll stop, because they'll be cooking forever. <laughs> no, really? You, anybody who's not full, we still want some more? Because if not, then we eat the cakes. If there any left, <laughs> because I did not uh, order anything, just spontaneous. Come here just to scare them like that, yeah? <laughs> and see how they react. Because if the boss is coming and they all know in advance and everything is uh, picobello, you know. <laughs> so I just surprise, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> okay, got. Now we're going to have cakes and, uh, and tea huh? and coffee, whatever, yeah?
Honestly, do you guys feel nervous because camera is going around or not? No. You don't care? Subconscious. Some don't care, huh? Some so used to with the cowboy style, huh? <laughs> Who is nervous when, you know, knowing the camera is filming you all the time secretly? Only you too. Huh? The other one not nervous? We can edit it out. <laughs> we can go home and edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> this one I won't give you to edit. <laughs> I tell to keep as is. <laughs> Original. <laughs> Original, courageous and tooth. Huh? The whole tooth. Okay. You guys eat quick. If you don't, then uh, the wh whoever finished, we eat the cake. <laughs> And if some left over, then they are lucky. Nah? <laughs> you like cakes? Yes. They make very good cheesecakes here. I hope they have it. Cheesecake, chocolate cake, apple, apple pie. Anybody like your door? <laughs> it's written D-E-N-T. But you don't say dent, you say door. Cool the door. <laughs> If you, you want to learn French, it's very easy. Just cut everything. You know, like, like if it's, uh, it's written with an N at the end, you just cut it. <laughs> then it's correct. You know, like maison, M-A-I-S-O-N. And you just say, maison. Maison. Very mouth around, maison. And you just cut the N and, and then you're correct. You know, <laughs> like information is right, written exactly like English. But if you want to speak in French, and you say, in Formation. <laughs> <laughs> and the garçon means boy, no? Mm. Written also with garçon, garçon, eh? with the N, N, at the N at the end. How do you say it now in French? Yeah. Garçon. <laughs> You got it. <laughs> and if it's an an age, you just don't say age. You, know, you don't say hotel. You you cut the ha ha ha. You cut the ha away. You say hotel. <laughs> then you are French already, yeah. And if you pronounce the R, ne? Uh, Robert, you know, Robert, <laughs> Robert, <laughs> oh, friend, <laughs> then, then you correct. <laughs> I'm just trying to give us a, a crass course in French. <laughs> I'm just joking, okay? <laughs> the French people, they speak very elegantly, not like that. I just make fun, okay? Don't tell the French people. <laughs> Say something uh, in French. She asks you. <laughs> she asks you if the food is good or not good. And you say, c'est bon. Ah, merci. Merci, madame. <laughs> Merci, madame. Say. Merci. No. Mer. <laughs> With the R. Mer. <laughs> Say it again. No. Merci. Merci, madame. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> The, the French people, they're very polite, okay? So if you speak wrong, <laughs> they <laughs> forgive you. <laughs> and they will try to correct you. <laughs> so no problem, okay? <laughs> we have to laugh a little bit so we can enjoy the next, you know, digesting. <laughs> Now, you, if you like coffee or espresso, you have to ask the lady there, huh? I want tea. I told her already. Oh, yeah. If you want coffee, you you tell her, huh? 
You and the Hasan. And you have to say, Madam or Monsieur. <laughs> monsieur I mean Sir. Yeah. We mean Monsieur. We mean Monsieur. Not more, sir, because you have to cut the 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 end. Even in the middle, you cut it. <laughs> so it's not monsieur, it's monsieur. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know everything. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. It's written M O N S I E U R, but you have to cut the end in in the middle. Not monsieur, but Mercy! <laughs> I told you, the friends, they no no nonsense about it. Anything unnecessary, they cut. <laughs> And I don't know why they put it there to begin with. <laughs> Just have something to do, you know? Yeah, well, in time of crisis, it's hard to find jobs, so somebody has to put an end there, and somebody has a job to cut it. <laughs> Job to do, huh? But the, when the French people they speak, hi French, you know, very, very, very nice, very elegant, very uh, lovely to listen. Yeah. When when somebody really has a good education, not not like my French, no, excuse me, but when they really uh, been well trained, you know, and they speak very, very nice, yeah. Especially lady, ne? Yeah? They speak very, very crispy, very nice, but hard to find. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah. People also have to have language skill, also have a nice voice. Yeah. Then the French is very lovely to hear, very elegant. You say something? J'ai beaucoup aimé la nourriture ici. Le repas était délicieux. Euh, Loving Hut est un restaurant. <laughs> Whatever I said before about the French elegant people, <laughs> it doesn't apply to this guy. He stayed too long in America. <laughs> okay, not because I tell lies, but because he he's a hybrid. <laughs> He also eat a lot of curry in India <laughs> before he came to America. So this mixture doesn't help. <laughs> doesn't help his, his native tongue. When I say it's elegant and nice to listen to, it's somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like in in. I'm sorry, I offended you, huh? Oh, la, 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 la. Okay. In English, in English, you, you if uh, if it's uh, O U P at the end, you say group or coup, right? But in French, no. Also, cut again, coup. Yeah, makes it beaucoup. It was just joking. My God, long face, like a horse. <laughs> No, no, you're very elegant. You speak so good, better than me. You know, I always make people laugh. So if I if I have nothing to make fun about myself anymore, then I try to pick one of the <laughs> scapegoat, <laughs> so they can laugh at our expense. Long time you don't speak French anymore, huh? Yeah. Yeah, all these Americans they ruin your talent. <laughs> No, the French people, they're very proud of their language, yeah? So if you try to learn a couple of sentences, even if you speak brokenly, they like it, better than speak English. When I first came to France, I tried to look for a job, you know, a student, yeah, I was a student. And I, and I didn't speak French much then, you know, and then I looked a little somehow, and then I said, do you speak English? No! The name ball is American! <laughs> I don't like Americans, and then he hang the phone up, bang on me. Uh, from then, I learned French. <laughs> learned. <laughs> uh, they're very proud of, the, of their language. That there was one time, even 
some some kind of maybe law, you know, not not very heavy law, but there there are some law passed out that you cannot mix English with French. You have to speak real French. They worry that the 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 the, the beautiful heritage of their language become you know melange, you know, become a mix like a salad. So you cannot say c'est cool. You cannot say it is cool like that. C'est cool means it's cool. You have to say. Come on, yeah, say cool in France. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> you lost your heritage. <laughs> you too much with the American. <laughs> c'est les Américains qui vont ruiner. Qui vont ruiner votre. Oh, c'est c'est toi, c'est toi. Yeah, but cool means uh, the oh. young language. You know, like it's it's nice. Comme c'est bon quoi. C'est tendance. tendance. Oh, c'est tendance. Uh, yeah, the French they don't have that word, you see, yeah. because it's a slang, a new slang for the younger generation in America or in England. Yeah, for the English people, they say, it's cool, man. It's cool. It doesn't mean I have aircon. <laughs> it means it's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's good. Yeah, you don't have that word, so the the younger generation of French want to import that word. So they always say cool, say cool. <laughs> and the government worries, so don't let them speak like that. Have to say, say whatever. <laughs> I don't know the word in French. Because it's, it's, it's not really like that in a dictionary as well, you know? It's not like cool. But now they, they use it a lot, so everybody understands what cool means. I mean, okay, you, you're okay. <laughs> you okay, or you, your clothes okay, or your style is cool. I mean, your style is okay. I mean, uh, admirable, yeah? But in French, we don't have that word. They are very serious stuff. Huh? French people, very serious. <laughs> so, Shringon, we use Shringon. We don't have a word for Shringon. Yeah, that's why, but the government tried to avoid all this kind of. Uh, like, you cannot say, mm, J'ai le feeling, no? I mean, I have the feeling. No, I cannot say like that. <laughs> Uh, I, I read a newspaper before. I'm not sure if it's true or not. But the government tried to tell the people, don't say, j'ai le feeling. <laughs> say, je me sentir, hein? je me sens quelque chose. I mean, I, I feel something. But you cannot say, je feeling, je feeling, <laughs> I have the feeling. You know, you cannot import the English into the French. Because they worry the French will be no more French. Yeah. But, and then the, uh, the younger generation keep importing more and more words from Vietnam, China, America, and then finally we speak Greeks, no? <laughs> okay, we eat together, huh? there's a lot here. It's a clean one, so I cut it off. I will not never finish all this. Anyway, I never eat them. Rarely. I rarely eat any sweet or ice cream, nothing. No, it's not about the dentist. It's just uh, I don't like sweet stuff so much. Mm -hmm. I only like it in India because I didn't have enough nutrition then. Mm -hmm. And I only like it when I was younger because also I, I wanted to be a vegetarian. And the whole house is a lot of meat, so I don't have enough nutrition. Mm -hmm. So I eat a lot of sweet. Mm -hmm. But now I, I don't hardly eat it ever, mm -hmm. very rarely. Mm -hmm. Okay, dig in. Dig? Dig, you dig? <laughs> Here, bro. Uh, like one each, huh? Oh, three of us, yeah? Uh, everyone have three, you see that? Huh. So you can take one piece each. Tell me which one is nice. Just, just take any. Uh. Uh, take one at a time, eat it, and then take more. Mm. Mm. You good? No. Oh, yeah, this is the lamb and something. <laughs> <laughs> But they are very um, popular here, no? This is a cheesecake, no? Cheese and, 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 and cherry, yeah? Mm. Oh, my God, so sweet. <laughs> Don't be polite, you too. At least uh, two uh, for one or oh, three or something, yeah? Take care, have some more here. Share with the neighbor, huh? This is two and then for three. <laughs> Which one you like most? Which one? The yellow one. Yellow one, huh? That's a lemon one. Lemon curd. He likes sour. <laughs>
the Spanish ethnic, they also love sour. Everything put lemon in it. Oh, <laughs> lemon and salt, lemon and salt. There was a Mexican live in my house before. Everything he liked, just put lemon and salt, that's it. <laughs> Until he discovered soy sauce. <laughs> The Chinese people like to use uh, soy sauce because they think, of course, salt already, yeah. But if they have to to dip something, they use uh, soy sauce. They feel it's it's less harsh, you know, not too harsh. You don't go see your parents now? I will. I will. At the end? Uh, either at the end or. More or less. No. Sure. Okay. Did you call them? Or oh, you have to call, make appointment. No? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to surprise. No, no, don't be. <laughs> Maybe you will be the one to be surprised. <laughs> it's a vacation time. Maybe they decide to go on the 50th honeymoon and then you, you stand in front of the door with a lot of food and nothing happened. Nobody. You can cook this food for them, you know, a little bit here and there and invite them, they like it. Just to show your... Uh, my cooking skills. Yeah. <laughs> so your love. Okay, eat more, more here, huh? Anybody welcome? Look, the sour guy here. <laughs> I hope he's for you. I don't think they, they care too much about sour stuff. You eat it. Now, then, 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 then. Take the whole thing. Take the whole, no, the whole sour only, and you eat the rest. <laughs> no, thank you. No. Hey, you guys don't draw on the camera lens, all right? <laughs> when I see my face blur in the video, then I know what happened. <laughs> Maybe the food that can withstand it, but the cake, oh my God. Oh, sit in there and eat like that. And they have to stand by and watch only. Eat, eat, oh, it's all okay. You have them in SMTV? This kind of cakes? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Sometimes at, at one road they have they make cakes. This good one? Eat it, eat it, <laughs> please. Long time no eat, just eat it. <laughs> eat, eat as much as you want. Maybe some more. I, I ask them to bring more. If you want more, I ask them to bring oh, more. This is this is fine. Yeah. Because the chair was so big. And also, when they put on the, the, the second floor, and it's so heavy for downstairs, you know, maybe the floor get trouble. And they put that big chair that they put now in the gallery for me to sit on, that was on my up, upper living room. Imagine, the house so small. My living room is about like this, and the sofa is like this. When you walk in, it's only sofa. <laughs> sofa, only the sofa, <laughs> nothing else. Oh my God! Don't even know the sense of matching, huh? Oh, that was Tung. She likes everything big. <laughs> Actually, I don't really like anything big. <laughs> I like the big ocean, big mountain. Yes, but uh, nothing. Everything else is enough. Is enough. You have to be proportionate. That's what it is. Yes. I, my upstairs living room is just necessary, only a very small, you know, sofa, very small, and the, the, arm, the arm and the person should be this thin only, you know, a little bit like that, but not the armchair, the arm on both sides like this and like that, you know. <laughs> and the back, back behind the back is also like thick, 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 mm -hmm. nah? And when I sit there, I'm already small. I sit in that big chair, I feel even <laughs> tinier. Oh, my God. If it, if it is just a little bit bigger, then you won't find me. <laughs> I blend in, you know, swallow up by the sofa. But this is nothing new, nothing new. They do that all the time, everywhere. Uh, when I was in uh, California, you know, I had a little mountain, I bought a mountain. There's nothing up there, just, uh, just some water. There's a... There's a water well, that's it. You know, nothing. No electricity, of course. So every night we we have fire to cook, yeah? And we uh, bring a couple of trailers, you know, old, old one, used one, a few thousand each, bring it up so we can live there and cook and 
shelter when it rains, or otherwise we eat outside, you know, because the mountain has a lot of dry wood huh? falling everywhere. So we bring the wood and we make a fire in the middle and cook every day. And then later they feel sorry that I live in the old uh, second-hand trailer. So they, they, uh, they, uh, how you say, they nail a wood house for me, a little bit bigger wood house. It's about maybe uh, three by three, something like that. And they buy king size bed, put inside there. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe it. <laughs> the king size bed is for the king, no? <laughs> okay, if they really want to exaggerate, they could buy a queen size bed. <laughs> no, king size bed, put in that little wood, uh, do it yourself. <laughs> House, you know, a little tiny window, a little creaky door. And a king size luxury bed with curve in your head, bed and bed head, everything. The mattress as thick as my size, as thick as my height, you know. <laughs> you open the door, you jump right in the bed. No, not jumping, climb. <laughs> the bed is already high, king size, you know. Elaborated everything. And the mattress, double mattress. One is down already. I don't know why they have double mattress. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> really, I don't know. But there are double mattress, you know, some better like that. The bed already very high, okay? I don't know whom is it made for, what kind of king, I don't know, but very high. And then the, the mattress, this is this big. You know, American's comfort, you know? <laughs> and then another mattress on top of it. And the house is a three by two or two by four, whatever that is, you know, very small. Like those are ready-made the wooden uh, storeroom, mm -hmm. yeah. But this one they do it yourself, <laughs> and because the mountain is not flat, you know. Mm -hmm. On top you just have happen to find just a little uh, clearance, a mm -hmm. little clearance somewhere, and then you put a house there. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to go up to the house already because the the, the land is not flat, you mm -hmm. know. You have to try to climb somehow, come up, and then as soon as you open the door. Oh, they almost hit you back down to the mountain again. <laughs> the door opened outward, you know. You open it and you, oh my God! <laughs> you have to grab something or you fall down. Backward, you know, rolling down. Yeah, so I tell them, no, no need to wait for me at the car, I just roll down myself. <laughs> yeah, that was a very peculiar mountain because the way you go up just like that. Yeah. So they bought me a Bronco with a lot of bullet holes all over the car. A bullet bullet yes. holes in it. Uh, my God, I'm already scared of that to be noticed. <laughs> a Bronco, so big. Many I'm telling I'm not exaggerating. At least two dozens of bullet holes in the whole car. I don't know what they use that car for, like target shooting or something. <laughs> Or maybe they have been, you know, doing things with each other <laughs> out on the field somewhere. And this, I told them, but, but, but why you have to buy cars with bullet holes? <laughs> and, it, and uh, you know, my attendant, she told me, it's the cheapest, cheapest. we can get. <laughs> 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 Almost immediately available, Master. <laughs> <laughs> my God. <laughs> When I sit in that car, I, I put my head down very low, <laughs> hiding, hiding behind the, the chair, you know. I'm worried the police will stop us or see my face. And then I take a picture or something just for the story to later on use in case, you know, for reference in the future. <laughs> the, the woman with the hat and umbrella and a lot of holes, <laughs> bullet holes in the car. Oh. But that car is very strong, can go straight up. Oh, really, you have to go. It's very straight, yeah, like this. I'm not joking. Uh, San Jose, the mountain. Huh? I, I sold it already, of course. Yeah. And we still come up and down every day. Yeah. Funny, you know. And we wanted to make a road. Huh? The uh, asphalt road is easier to go up than just dirt and straight 90 degree like that. Oh, at least 40, 45. 45. Oh, terrible. Be, be, before, they just go up to Hun or something, I don't know. American car, very strong, you know, they use Jeep or Bronco, Bronchi, whatever, go up. <laughs> so, so later on, we, we, just me and some attendants, you know, some male, female, we, we buy 
Mixi men and we hire the, those a car that mixi men and pour it out on the street together. So we make a um, kind of um, cemented road to go down. It's easier to grip to go up. What before? It's just like like the movies, you know, whoosh, and they go, no, no worry, master. I get it, master. Every day, every day. No, don't worry, master. All of them. <laughs> and the wheel keep rolling on. Don't worry, I get it. Go back to one of them. Boom. I told him, don't talk to me, just drive. <laughs> I'm not worried, I'm dead already. <laughs> You know, because just one row up and so deep, really, if anybody know about it or not, Hoa, no? No, nobody know her. Nobody at that time. Yeah, but you can ask, like, Tong, you know, the one, the earlier one that could, <laughs> that could go to America with me. And, uh, uh, where was I? <laughs> the Bronco. <laughs> He's trying very hard, but with so many bullets in his body, I think he really did well. <laughs> it rolled it and again, run, run, and run, and, run, and then finally, zoop. Oh my God. Every time, every day, and he keep telling, don't worry, man, I got it. <laughs> and the, the road is already so steep and so small. If one mistake, he will roll over to either both sides. And he keep talking to me, don't worry, master, one hand drive. <laughs> that kind of situation. And breaking and, and how you say, gassing and breaking, gassing, and still manage to talk. <laughs> oh, it's him, don't worry, master, I get it, I get it. I say, just drive. <laughs> don't talk, I'm, I'm not worried, I'm dead already. <laughs> Every day. Oh, my God. And there's some guy who wanted to visit me at that time. He couldn't make it. His car couldn't make it. Oh. He has a Jaguar, man, who couldn't go up. <laughs> Animal, Jaguar, but cannot go up. So he left the car down there and walked every day up. Oh, oh man. Talking about sincerity. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the guy would suit a businessman, you know? Black suit, black tie, and shining shoe, everything. By the time he go, <laughs> by the time he climbed that dirt road, 45 degree or 50 degree to my house, he's completely <laughs> changed the color. <laughs> like like those uh, lizard that change color to suit the environment. Oh, he's completely blending. <laughs> you don't recognize him anymore when <laughs> when he's up. <laughs> The color changed completely to the dirt color, you know. <laughs> it's like magic, huh? I asked, since when did you learn the art of, <laughs> of camouflage for, for the environment? <laughs> Ay, yeah, poor guy. And not only that, we have mosquito, by the way. Not because you're climbing doesn't, doesn't mean the mosquito just stand by and say, hold on, go, go. <laughs> The mosquito lazy to fly because it's too high. He <laughs> he hikes on your skin. <laughs> you driving or not? He just uh, you know take a ride with you, free. Yeah, and then uh, it come up. Oh, a lot of pickle on the face as well. Also same color as dirt. <laughs> you don't know it's a mosquito bite. It's not red. It's it's all brown. <laughs> And that kind of situation, they still can manage to bring the king-size bed <laughs> into that little t wooden hut. I really have no idea how. Yeah, put it inside even, despite the door that, that big. They took it all into pieces, go inside. They can't even stand inside to, to fix it. They stand outside through the, through the window, through the door to fix it, and climb under the bed to fix it. <laughs> For below, you know, fix the nails. Yeah. And two mattresses. Oh my God. By the time I climbed the mountain, 
I, and I climb to my house, I see the bed, I don't want to go in there. <laughs> I don't want to climb another mountain, you know. Oh, but that's what they do. If, if you always ask them, why you did this? Why you did this? They say, I love Master, that's why. <laughs> see what I mean? Always love and then do all kinds of things. Because love, Master. Love, but don't have to have a big bed like that. You know? <laughs> Just to show their, big, their love is big or something. I know why they have such a big bed in that small house. Because once I come inside, I probably crawl into the other side of the corner, you know, the wall corner. Like that, I'm safe, they think, you know. Because if there's a small bed, then maybe I even roll down the bed, then I roll down the hill. <laughs> but if it's a big bed, then I probably have time to grab the, 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 the pole or something, or the pillow, you know, hold on to it. <laughs> I call for help, yeah? <laughs> there used to be a little tree house also for the children of the neighbor. They used to go up and play next to it. So I said, oh, well, this, I'd rather go to that tree house <laughs> because at least I know it's a tree house and it's smaller, you know? And I, I it would be safer in there than just rolling on that bed and might be able to even roll down the, the, the hill. Oh, incredible. You don't know that place, huh? San Jose uh, Mountain? You've not been there? No. You have been there? Yeah. You are him, the road. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Later we sell, huh? Because I wasn't there anymore, otherwise I like that place very much. <laughs> A lot of good memory, uh, good laugh, I don't know why. I like it because we can make fire. We don't need to buy anything. Electricity you don't need, we just buy a battery and connect with the nail and lamp and we're done, inside. And then, and then uh, just make fire every day, you know, cooking outside. We, we don't have anything to chop the wood. So sometimes we get small wood, okay. Sometimes big wood, we just put the whole thing in. <laughs> yeah, in the middle, and then we put small wood underneath, and then finally it burns too. You don't even need to buy any, anything. It's, it's so simple. And we had good meal there. For, hey, surprise! <laughs> and it cooked with fire. It tastes very good. Yeah. And we just, uh, I don't know, maybe just five, six people only at that time. Why did you eat there? Together with, at night? Yeah. Yeah. You ask him. He go like this. The master advises about the sustainable Uh huh. Uh, grow your own food, not grow on your food. <laughs> okay. So we took your advice and we started to grow our vegetables. Where? In Lucky House? Yeah, in Lucky. And you have no <coughs> garden there? Yes, yeah, small, small garden side of the Lucky yeah. and the garden of the house. And we started to grow and grow very well. Uh -huh. And it grew very big, like out of vegetables. Very, like, we have a whole tree of uh, oranges, uh -huh. hundreds, yeah. and it grows a lot. Uh -huh. And our vegetables grow so well, uh -huh. and it tastes so good. Uh -huh. And the bao is like like this big. Oh, bao, bao, bao. 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 <laughs> Winter good. Yeah, winter good. <laughs> it tastes so good. Like cucumbers and tomatoes. It's so tasty, so we just yeah. harvest it and just eat like several uh -huh. like fruits. Yeah. So tasty. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Good. And we have a lot of fruits and vegetables. Good. And we feel like it's gift from Master. <laughs> Why? I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can feel like it's like because it gives us so small garden, but it gives us a lot of abundance to us. Yeah. And we feel love and blessings. So we very appreciate it and enjoy a lot. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. But you are a lot of people. How enough? Enough? Yeah. Enough? Yes. Yeah. Full, full of tree of tangerine. Uh, uh. Good, good. Yeah. You can even grow things under the trees as yeah. well. Yeah. And we have all sorts of uh, herbs. Uh huh. Make use of space. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's very good. Leafy, leafy green vegetables. Uh huh. Cool. Say cool. <laughs> <laughs> They are feeling que c'est cool. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, yes, Master. Yeah. What was Hermit's and Happy's relationship before? They were friends. 
Why? <laughs> um, yeah, the story. Not too long ago, Master, about like a few weeks ago, um, there was this customer, she's American, and um, she came to One World Master, mm -hmm. and I never seen her before. I think she's a new customer or something. But when, um, when she, like when she encounters, she orders food and the way she talks, I feel she's so different, Master. It's yeah. like, like in my head, I'm thinking, wow, I wonder if she's like uh, an angel or a goddess that, you know, manifests here. But I was thinking, she's so kind and she's so gentle and her energy, you feel she's so light, Master. She, yeah. But I'm like, oh gosh, I can't tell. And I was just thinking, you know, all those things. And then later on, she looked at me, Master, and she told me, you so kind, you exact words that and I had in my mind. About her. Yes, exact whatever I thought about her, yeah. she repeated back to me. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh my gosh. And then before she left Master, she turned around and she looked at me. Um, whatever I thought about, like um, either you a saint or like I was thinking whether she's a saint or god, she looked at me, you like a saint or goddess. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes God and goddesses, they come visit, no? Yeah. But she just want to let you know, be careful what you think, because other people can read. That's the way it is, okay? Yeah. She just want to, to, to encourage you to think positive. Yeah, that's the way it is. You see? Very clearly. Yeah. Okay, good. How many more of you like that? How many visit? Just that one, huh? <laughs> Lucky one, huh? See, some people can read your thought, not, not just about saint or angel, but she just want to warn you that, be careful what you think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's transparent. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why we bother wearing clothes or makeup, because everybody, most, <laughs> everyone can see us, you know, through and through. <laughs> That's why some Indian yogi or yogini, they don't bother wearing anything. Also troublesome, yeah? Go shopping <laughs> and sewing, yeah? And washing and then ironing. And you have to have a washing machine if you are old like me. <laughs> you know, to tire the washing machine. Oh, good news, huh? Anything else? Well, even though we didn't see God or goddesses, but at the performer's rehearsal, uh, a friend of one of the performers said, I see that cute girl from the poster coming to rehearsals every day. Mm. So they saw you, so your manifestation body somehow. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and you guys are all blind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always wait for other people to tell you. Why not? You ask yourself. <laughs> ask yourself. <laughs> it's not just you guys, huh? Other. Your yeah, other brother and sister of yours initiate same. Always a family member who don't in, who not initiate. Told them, oh, your master came, <laughs> and this and that and others. Yeah, but it's also good like that. Yes, because like that they also believe that that what you told is true. Yeah, you believe already anyway. So maybe you see or not see don't matter too much because. Jesus said, blessed are the one who doesn't see but believe. <laughs> he means the blind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I also have miracle, you know, I, I make all the blind see. <laughs> now and then they see a little bit, and they're still blind, but they can see a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, why, that's why I have to invite you to here to eat, because otherwise you couldn't see anything. <laughs> Just a physical body, huh? Yeah. It's always the same. Eh? This story is the same everywhere. <laughs> Just like those journalists who tell you that the, the girl came advertised for herself. <laughs> Remember the woman? Why does she advertise for herself? I wouldn't do such thing. <laughs> Imagine, go out and uh, distribute flyer with your photo on it. Here, I am the master, look at me. <laughs> Take one, get blessed. <laughs> uh, yeah. But like, like that, you, even if you can see, you believe more also. And the outside people or the non-initiate, they also get to believe something. Understand? Yeah.
Also, uh, it works in both ways, right? Anything else? Transformation by master. Uh, can you set them to sit in all the uh, uh, blessing levels at the same time? Like you can put several of them in the uh, karmic uh, immunity area at the same time while, while you're here with us. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. No, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> I'm not allowed to use my own power to do things for myself. Otherwise, it would be too easy. It doesn't work that way. You have to sign the pact. Yes. But, uh, but nowadays I can manage better, you know? Like I could put it on hold for a while or something until I finish doing something. It's okay then. <laughs> okay. If you have nothing more important, then we go, huh? Thank you so much, Mr. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. May you enjoy, yeah? yeah. Yes, ma'am. Very, very much so. Yeah. Thank you, Please tune in to the next session of this international gathering with Supreme Master Ching Hai and our association members. To be notified when a new session is available, subscribe to Supreme Master Television's newsletter at www.suprememastertv.com slash newsletter. Vegan, make peace. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com.